Welcome to Script Learners. Before starting today's video, I wish you all a very happy new year. 2023 is the beginning of a new chapter. This is your year. Make it happen. So in today's video, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem asked in the Accenture technical interview. It was a Java based interview. So before jumping into the topic, let's first discuss about script learners. So we have created this amazing website where we regularly post many interview preparation articles and latest job updates. Make sure to check it out. We have also created a telegram channel where we post the job openings on the regular basis. Make sure to join our te telegram channel. So let's jump into the topic. So here is the question. We have a function that takes two integral m and n as the argument. You are required to obtain the total of all integers ranging between 1 to n which are not divisible by m. You must also return the distinction between the sum of integers not divisible by m with the sum of integers divisible by m. Okay, so assumptions are m and n should be greater than 0 sum lies within the integral range okay so here what we have to do is we have two integers integer m and n so what we have to do is n here is the range from 1 to n so here n let's suppose we have n as 30 so what we have to do is we have to calculate the sum of integers not divisible and divisible by m within this range so here let's take this example so here what we have done is we have first taken the sum of integers which are divisible by m so m here here is 6 so what we have done is we have taken all these numbers which are divisible by 6 and we have uh, done a subtotal of them so here we got 90 as the subtotal uh, for the integers which are divisible by 6 and then we have taken the non divisible numbers uh, by 6 so here these are the numbers which are not divisible by 6 and the subtotal is 375 so at the end we have calculated the difference between these two numbers and we got uh, the result as 285 so let's take one more example we are taking this test case so let's discuss this so here what we have we have n as 3 and m as 10 so here m is from 1 to 10 so what we have done is first we have calculated the sum of divisibles by n so here there are three digits which are divisible by n which is 3 one is 3 second is 6 and the third one is 9 so the subtotal is 18 here and so and for the sum of non divisibles by n is the rest of the integers which are not divisible by 3 so their subtotal is 37 at the end we have calculated the difference between these two subtotals uh, so we have calculated the absolute dis difference by using abs method so it is nothing but uh, it returns the positive value of a number so here we got 19 as the result so hope you understand the question so let's jump into the code part so let me create a new class here yes so let me name is name it, name it as accenture practice set okay let me also select this public static void main so we have successfully created a class here so let's first import all the required packages by importing java.util.load package import java.util yeah so now let's create the scanner class object because we have to take the input from the console so here what i will do is i will create an object of scanner class
system dot in yes so we have successfully created the object of scanner class now we will take now we will create two variables which is int m and n right yes so int n and m now i will take input in n by using the scanner class object and then using this next int function same with n sc dot next int so i did yes now what we have to do is i will create a new method static int so this is the method name it will take two integers as mentioned in this problem statement and i will set a return type as answer so it is let me create this variable so here what i what i have done is i have created a separate method in which we will uh, do the rest of the part so here i will i have uh, uh use the static keyword uh by using static keyword we don't need to create an object of this class to access this method uh so let's continue so first complete this function so here i will create two more integers which is integer some divisible let's say sum of divisibles okay and the second one as sum of non divisibles yes so what i will do is i will create a for loop in order to iterate through all the values within the range of m so here i equal to 1 i less than equal to m i plus plus now i will do the subtotal part first i first we will uh calculate the sum of these divisibles so here if i is divisible by n equal to equal to zero. Then let me also initiate this with zero. So sum of divisible. Plus equal to y. Else, sum of plus equal to i. Sum of non-divisible. Sorry. Yes. So here, what I have done is, we will calculate uh, whether. this i is divisible by n or not if it is then we will add this i to the sum of di divisible variable otherwise it will get added into the sum of non divisibles uh, variables so we have successfully done the subtotal part now let's calculate the answer here so 
uh, as we discuss here that i have used abs method because if i will not use abs then it may return a negative value so that's why here we have a math dot abs method so i will use this so here what i will do is i will just subtract sum of divisible minus sum of non divisibles okay yeah so here we go now we will simply print this so i will call this function difference of sum and here i will pass these two variables and n m so yeah we have successfully written the code let's save it and run it let's enter the value of n here and m is 30 so yeah here we got our output which is 285 yes so let's test this one more time with our second test case so here we have m as 30 sorry m as 3 and n as 10 so here we got 19 so yeah that was the question hope you like this video make sure to subscribe our channel to get these types of videos on a regular basis Thank you